Here's part two of our discussion on financial responsibility. I'm Graham Smith and I'm running for the Board of Supervisors in San Bernardino County's third district. I spent the bulk of my career working in finance and in reviewing the county's budget, there are some definite red flags. Spotting anomalies like this requires skills that you don't pick up in politics. If they were, we probably wouldn't be having state and federal budget crises all the time. That's why having someone with my background on the board is a good idea if you're someone who doesn't like their tax money being wasted. Over the last few years, it's been a regular criticism of our county that a lot of the financial oversight has been passed off to the county CEO. This is a position that's not elected, and as we saw from our former county CEO, is one that can be badly abused without the proper oversight. Oversight in this context means knowing what to look out for and knowing what questions to ask. Let's talk about a few examples. Here are some things right up front I think you should be aware of. One, the county's commissioning a $3 million study to figure out whether STR revenues and TOT taxes should get reinvested back into the neighborhoods that generate them. I've been saying this whole time, we should just do this and we don't need to be spending the $3 million. The county's making a big deal of the fact they're allocating an extra $30 million to unincorporated areas to provide for infrastructure support. It's on the first page of the executive summary. But at the same time, they're also talking about a $123 million allocation just to improve county buildings. Page 101, County Admin Office, there's been a one-year 35% or $2.5 million operating expense increase. I don't see an explanation here in the budget, so I'd ask the question. Page 105, County Communications. There's a $1.7 million or 63% increase in their staffing budget and zero increase in headcount. What's that about? Page 117, Human Resources. There's been a two-year increase of $10 million or 71% to their staffing budget and about a 30% increase in their headcount. That doesn't immediately make sense to me. Page 122, Risk Management. There's been a one-year $2.1 million or 31% increase to their staffing budget and a 1% decrease in the number of staff. Again, that doesn't immediately make sense. These are examples of increases that I have questions about, but sometimes it goes the other way too. Page 127, Computer Operations. Last year, the IT department for the county had a budget of $60 million in their operating expenses, and they came in at $46 million. Face value, you might say, hey, that's a good thing. They're spending less money than they have to. What happened that this division came in so far under budget, and were there things we should have been spending that money on to either make the county's IT more secure or to make things more user-friendly for residents of the county? By the way, if you remember from a previous video, the sheriff's department was the victim of a ransomware attack and had to pay a bunch of money to get their data back. There might be valid answers to these questions, but there might also be an opportunity to be less wasteful. It's the supervisor's job to ask so that your tax dollars aren't being wasted. If you want a supervisor with the skills to do this job effectively and not have to fake it, go grab your ballot, fill out the bubble next to Graham Smith, and cast your vote before March 5th.